In this video, I will show you how to fix the Discord disconnecting and reconnecting problem. So there's a few things I'm going to go through with you today, a few settings we're going to change in order to resolve this problem. So with that being said, let's jump straight into it. So here we are, as you can see, we're currently here on Discord. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come into the server or the channel that you're having connection problems on. And what you want to do is simply go ahead and jump into a voice channel on that server. Now, once you're in the voice channel, you want to right click onto the voice channel itself to bring up this menu. And then you want to come down and click onto edit channel. So in here, there's a couple of things we're going to change. The first thing you're going to want to do is change the bitrate. So by default, it's set to 64 kbps. However, if you do have some people on poor connections this can be detrimental so what you want to do is basically turn this down to about 50 and once you've done that make sure to come down and click the save changes pop up also on the screen you want to come down towards the bottom and in here you're going to see a section called region override now by default this is going to be set to automatic however say for example you're in the UK and most of the people in the chat or voice channel are from a different part of the world say they're in China for example what you would do is you want to change this to a region where most of your members are. So if it was China, for example, we could go ahead and select Hong Kong. And again, any changes you make, be sure to come down and click the Save Changes button at the bottom. So once we've done that, we can go ahead and close this window down. And what we're gonna do now is come down to the bottom left-hand corner and click onto this gear icon to go into our user settings. Now, from here, you want to come to this menu on the left-hand side and locate the voice and video option, which is underneath the app settings section. So just click onto this. In here, what you want to do is just scroll down slightly on the settings. Until you get to this option that says about quality of service, enable quality of service high packet priority. Now, if this is turned on, what you're gonna to want to do is actually disable this. And also what you wanna do is come down to the section about audio subsystem and click onto this and change it to legacy. On the pop up that comes up, make sure to go ahead and click okay. What it's gonna do is quit and relaunch Discord to apply your changes. So once we've done that, what we can do is come out of Discord. So you wanna close down Discord. And now what we're gonna do is change some settings on our PC or laptop to further resolve this problem. So the first thing you're gonna to want to do from your desktop is come down to the bottom left hand corner and type CMD into the search box. At this point, you want to right click onto command prompt underneath best match and make sure to run this as administrator. So what that's gonna do is open up the command prompt and you want to type the following command into here. So you wanna put IP config, just like so. Then you wanna put a space and then a forward slash and then put flush DNS and then press enter. Once you've done that, you go ahead and type exit and then press enter. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is come down to the bottom left hand corner to our search box. And this time we want to go ahead and type VPN. Now you want to look for VPN settings. So you can see that's just here. Give this a click and make sure currently if you do have a VPN that is not currently turned on. And also you want to make sure if you're using a proxy that that's turned off as well. So if you come back to the search box and type proxy, you're going to see proxy settings. So just go ahead, give that a click. And if you've got a proxy set up, you want to make sure that's turned off. So what we need to do now is if you're still getting problems is you want to go ahead and open up a new internet browser and what you want to do is come across to a website which is called drivereasy.com. Now what this does it basically checks for any drivers that are not currently updated out, out of date drivers which can potentially cause connection issues with Discord. Now what you want to do when you come here is click onto the green download now button here and this is completely free you don't have to pay for this there is a paid option available but there is also a free option so you just want to go ahead and install that onto your PC. Once that's installed, what we can do is go ahead and open up driver easy on our PC. So what we're gonna do is just scan for any outdated drivers. This generally just takes a minute or two to do, go through. And once that's finished, as you can see, you're gonna get a screen like this, and it's gonna tell you if there's any drivers out of date. So what you can do is go through these one by one and manually update your drivers. There is an update all button at the bottom, but this is only available in a paid version. So if you just want to stick to the free version, you have to do this manually for each driver. As you you can see for myself that most of my drivers are currently up to date you can see it says up to date however you can see there's one that's currently needing an update it says activate an update so what you would do is click onto the button and then just follow the on-screen prompts to go ahead and update your drivers. Once you've done that, give it a go again and see if that fixes your problem. Now, if that doesn't work for you, another thing you can try is changing your DNS settings to the Google DNS. 
which is going to provide a more solid connection. So to do that, what you're going to want to do from your desktop is come down to the search box in the bottom left hand corner and you want to go ahead and look for your control panel. So you want to type that into here, select control panel underneath best match. From here, what we're going to do is make sure we're on category. So if you look at the top here, you want to make sure this is selected to category. And then under network and internet, you want to click on to view network status and tasks. Once you click onto this, you want to come to this menu on the left hand side and click on to change adapter set. Settings. then what you're going to do is locate your internet connection so you can see mine's over here right click onto this and then come down and click onto properties so what that's going to do is bring up a window like this and from here you want to look for internet protocol version 4 so you can see that's here give that a click and then come down and click onto properties now in this window, you want to come down to the second section down here and it should be set to obtain DNS server address automatically. What you want to do is click onto the icon underneath, which says use the following DNS server addresses. And what you want to do is type the following, which is 8888. And in alternative DNS server, you want to put 8844. Once that's done, go ahead, click OK and come out of this. You can close this all down. And the final thing we want to check is our firewall settings. So to do that from our desktop, what we're going to do is again, come down to the search box in the bottom left hand corner. And we want to go ahead and type Windows Defender, which is the Windows Defender firewall, as you can see here. Give that a click and that's going to take you into the firewall. And what you want to do is come to this menu on the left hand side and click here where it says allow an app or feature through Windows Defender firewall. Now from here, you want to first of all, click the change settings button at the top. And all you want to do is look for Discord in the list here. So you can see mine's here. If you can't see this, you can come down, click allow another app onto here. Then you want to click onto browse and locate Discord from your PC. Now, once you've located Discord and you've added this here, you want to make sure that both the boxes are ticked for private and public, just like I've done here. So hopefully after following these steps now, you should now have no connection problems with Discord. If you do still have problems, I would recommend reinstalling Discord on your PC. So you just want to do a full and install and reinstall of Discord. But with that being said, I hope this tutorial did help you out today. And if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.